Are you someone who takes action and loves taking action? For some of you, I don't think so. For others, you, you go, yeah, I can take action and I love taking action. What's stopping you from taking action today? Whatever it is that you need to do or start to do, what's holding you back? For me, sometimes I go, you know what, I am so tired, so I just couldn't be bothered. Or I've had a really uh, busy couple of days and I'm just worn out, you know, maybe stiff and sore, you know, that sort of stuff. But here's the thing. If what you want to achieve is important, you will do something about it. That's the way I see it, and that's the way I apply it to myself. But sometimes the, the, the goal is so big that I can't, it's just too overwhelming. That is why it's, it's good, whatever you want to do, wherever you're going, just take a little step at a time. I saw someone yesterday, and... Um, I said, so how, how's the week been since we've last spoken? And she said, oh, David, my week has been fantastic. I, you know, things haven't gone well at work, but for some reason, life has just seems better. And I said, well, congratulations. Guess what? You've now set a personal best of seven days. You now have the evidence that says that you can do life differently for seven days. Let's see if you can get it up to eight days. Nine days, ten days. So my challenge for you today is how about setting a new personal best? If you've never been able to get to seven days, well, aim for it. And then when you get to seven days, go for eight days. When you've done eight days, go to nine days. I wonder what would happen if you started looking to do personal bests.